there I got a lot of heat for this tweet. There was a uh, a girl who I think she had a, a fencer. She was a fencer, I think something like that. Anyway, she wore a hijab, a hijab. That's what they call a burqa. He's like, we're gonna make a whole line of hijabs. Cover up your woman. Cover up your woman. Let's go. Anyways, I tweeted like, hey Nike, you guys, like you shouldn't support this. You know, I know it's a religion you're trying to pander to, and I know you're a company you're trying to make money for, but you should you should support women not being raised in oppressive religions. You should support women's having freedom. You should support women not having to wear a hijab. It's absurd to pretend uh, that the Muslim world is misogynistic on any scale like the West, especially with regards to the issue of hijab. I mean, I don't think there's any better argument against the claim that hijab is a manifestation of male domination than the advertising industry. I mean, think about it. Companies know and have known for a very long time uh, that men like to look at women's bodies. In fact, there isn't anything that men would rather look at than women's bodies. As much as they might like hamburgers, they would rather look at uh, an advertisement of a beautiful woman in a bikini holding a hamburger than to look at the hamburger itself. That's why you use women in advertising the way you do. In a male-dominated society, women would be less covered, not more covered, because, well, that's what men want to see, and in a male-dominated society, they control the norms. And this should be understood. In a male-dominated society, in a truly misogynistic society, men believe that it is their right to see women's bodies. If a woman is covered, they feel uh, deprived. The covered woman is defying their entitlement. You can even decipher this in their anti-hijab uh, arguments, when they say that hijab seeks to make women invisible in the society. As if a woman isn't there if you can't see her legs or her hair or the contours of her body. She just doesn't exist if she's not showing you her body. This kind of pseudo-feminist assertion uh, objectifies women even more uh, than the hamburger advertisement that just uses a woman to sell meat. If she's not presenting herself as a decoration on the street for the uh, appreciative eyes of passing men, then she's a non-entity in the West. Does Islam really oppress women? You're about to learn something that is incredible. In Arabic, the word for moon, Qamar, is masculine and the word shams, sun, is feminine. And just like the moon is a reflection of the sun's light, the man is a reflection of his woman's light. Which is why the Prophet Muhammad said that this whole world that we live in is just pleasure. It's just enjoyment. But the greatest of all enjoyment is having a righteous spouse. Think about it, out of all enjoyment in this world, whether it be through your friends, through your finances, through the holidays that you can have, through the food that you can eat, all the enjoyment that you can think of, the thing that tops all of that is having a supportive, caring, righteous wife. And there's no wonder why they say that behind every successful man is a good woman. This is how Allah created and honored the woman with the ability to propel her man forward as the sun, allowing the moon, her man, to shine bright.